lot of cold weather that's pushed through this past week and these deer are absolutely going crazy. I had an encounter with this big eight point buck that we call the ACL buck now. We've, we've given up on rifle hunting. We're sticking with the old stick and string. Night, night. <laughs> Come on! Is that a deer or is that a wall? That's a deer, son. Is it? Yep. That's a deer. I don't know. I'm gonna call him real quick. All right, let me call him. It's a work day. All right, thank you, bye. We're ready. Let's get going. I was probably three feet from him right there. snake bites which is good came about three feet away from the hospital run I didn't even see him I was ahead of Josh for about 15 yards and walked right by him me and Josh we've set this spot a couple times this year um, really haven't had a great on out of it yet but man the temperatures are right we just had a, a great rain push through like I was saying earlier and we needed it so bad this food plot especially it's just been so burnt up you don't really get much shade over it but we're going after a buck called bandit he's been crossing this bio back and forth and really staying in about a half mile radius we got three cameras and he's hitting all three spots but josh got on the board last week he broke the ice for us he got some ducks back there Like I was saying, this spot, this buck's been hitting, he's been here just about every night, and last week he daylighted three or four times, and we were in the stand, he just never came out whenever we were here. But this spot is just really hot, we got three or four shooters using it, but the buck we call Bandit uh, has been hitting it consistently. We just need him to step out, whether it's now or, or right before sunlight, right before we lose sunlight, <laughs> we'll just get into the hunt. <laughs> Let's have a day. Seven point. Same one we saw yesterday, or two days ago. Yeah, he's, I heard something about 10 minutes ago back there. Walk straight down the third block. Made it back, baby. We got us a, a big weekend planned. Opening weekend rifle season, and that's just, to us, is a... It's a huge time. We all come up here as a family and get together, and um, it's always been something we've done ever since we were itty bitty. Killed a, a buck last year, Sobel, uh, this same weekend, and it's always, it seems to be up here, that, that rut really starts picking up, really November 7th through the 12th. It's always the best time of the year, and even the days leading up to rifle season, I feel like we always kind of get up here and we start seeing a lot of our shooters and getting shots at them. We do have to make sure we have our orange so we can uh, blend in real nice up there in the tree stand we're gonna switch up spots we've been hunting hard after a buck we called bandit for about a month and a half now and i really i, I have not had that many great hunts I, you know i've had some hunts i've seen a lot of does some small bucks but i just have have not had any encounters with any shooters we're gonna switch it up i'm gonna go to a spot that uh i call acl stand it's named after my uh, knee injury from high school so uh have not killed 
have not killed a, a big buck out of that stand yet, but um, just had some phenomenal hunts and it's covered up with does and with rut, you know, kind of coming up and you want to get in the middle of that property where all those does are, those, those bucks, they'll start showing up eventually. So we're going we're gonna to get all our stuff together, go inside, eat some dinner with the family and, and just hang out and get ready for the morning. We got a big cold front pushing through as well. So that's always good uh, for this time of the year. Sunday, November 13th, and it's the first morning hunt of the year. Just have not hunted any mornings, weather hasn't been good. It's finally cold, it's 25 degrees this morning. Had a huge cold snap come through the past couple days. Had in an unbelievable hunt last night. Thought we were gonna get it done, but um, just never happened. But the food plot that we call ACL stand, Back in high school, I tore my ACL, and the only only spot I could hunt was right here because I was uh, had surgery and was on crutches, and I, I had a ground blind in this food plot, so we just called it ACL. It's here right in the middle of our property, and all these deer usually pass through at some point or another. We're gonna sit tight. We'll uh, watch this sun come up. Might do a little grind, a little rattling, and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to be able to draw. I have does right underneath me. Me and Josh just ran over here to the farm. It's a it's a Tuesday afternoon, and uh, we got a lot of cold weather that's pushed through this past week, and these deer are absolutely going crazy. Uh, I had an encounter with this big eight point, a buck that we call the ACL buck now, um, uh, this past Sunday, and I think we're going to go in there and try and get an arrow in him. He uh, he came in to about 45 yards, and I was self filming. I had does all over me. I just couldn't get a shot off, but. We're, we're gonna get dressed real quick and hop in the stand. I mean, we're, we're running behind. We're only gonna get about an hour 15 to hunt, an hour 30. I hope it's good for two people. It's a janky old tree, but we'll see. Hopefully we don't blow over that wind's howling too. I'm gonna get this target lined up with a nice war eagle boat as the background to really put the pressure on to, to make a good shot. Because if I hit that boat, Josh can be fit. 21 yards right here. They don't call me Robin Hood for no reason. Man, Josh just climbed up here in the tree. It's the middle of November, and uh, the deer are running like absolutely crazy right now. We got bugs all over the place. We had three different uh, shooters at this food plot last night, and uh, we had to come sit. We just had to. So uh, we got situated, it's cold, it's overcast. We already had deer in the plot when we were walking in. We got about an hour and 15 minutes to hunt. Uh, we'll see if we can make it happen on it here this past weekend, the same spot. Had some great hunts, all over 30 deer in one hunt, one shooter, just couldn't get them in bow range. It is Arkansas gun season, we're up here. We still got the old stick and string out, so uh, see if we can uh, get us one down this afternoon. Nice. 
face mask. It's a bug. Yeah. Might be hands up. I just don't need them at 45. Need them right here at 30. I'm telling you, that's the spot. Every single one of those bugs go right there. All those deer that cross that road go in there. We've had a couple different shooters in this food plot. A buck by the name of Jim Beam. It's been walking. Josh, buck right here. Coming right at us. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's ACL buck right there. There he comes. He just came back out. There's an old Mexican standoff here. Yes or no? Yes or no? What do you think body was? spear at him from the redneck. If he comes on this side, we'll get him.
Mer. we just shot that deer um, we need to give him a little bit of time it looked like just straight through the double lungs I mean that shot was 15 yards he couldn't have come in any better just a big old Arkansas eight point I'll make sure he's he's got to be 230 240 he's got a giant body on him he's a buck too we've, we've been watching for a couple years now and he's just always been just that good frame eight point but he never blew up he's gained some mass this year Looks like he broke off or trimmed down one of his brow tines, but man, he's been running like crazy the past few days. We've been seeing him on. He was asking for he, it. I mean, he was. He came in here the other day, dog and does, and I had him at about 50 yards. But like I said, I, I had does all in front of me, self filming. I couldn't have drawn back on him and gotten it done. So, got my cameraman here today. It made things a lot easier. But let's pack everything up, get out of here, go check him out. I think he's dead about probably 40 yards back in here. Be sure to check out our crooked tree. It's not the not the best of sets or sets, but it's freaking it's prime up there. Let's take a short little walk over here to our hero. Oh, that's, that's 
that's Dunzo, son. The blood on that guy. All the way through. That Grim Reaper tore him up. Set my pack down, get my headlamp. Here. Oh, a bunch of blood right there. All through there. He's dead in there. Yeah, he's dead. I think this right here is where I saw him stop. That first time. Yeah. That is just good blood there. Real good blood. White. Look at that white. Is that a deer or is that a long? That's a deer, son. Is it? Yep. That's a deer. He's folded up on that tree. Let's go. Oh. We got an old possum right next to him. Dude, look at the body on that guy. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Got a tree on top of it. Get on down there and sling him up. Shoot. I don't know how he held on that long. Look at that. That's a good Arkansas buck. That's a good old Mature Arkansas buck right there. Golly, look at the neck on him. He's heavy. Big old body. Stinking. A lot of mass coming through these main beams right here. Looks like he broke off his brow. We knew that. Pictures we saw him recently. Look at that. Turn him sideways right there, other side. Look at that main beam curl up. I know. I pull him out from under here real quick. Oh my gosh. Well, we got him off that tree there. We got him propped up looking real pretty. Turn that headlamp off. Sorry. And um, I mean, just what a beautiful deer, you know? I mean, the way, just the whole hunt in general, the way he came in. And Josh, we were talking, we were like, if this buck, if he can do it right just on video, I mean, it, it ain't often it happens like that. And I do a lot of self-filming. Josh does a lot of self-filming. It's, it's not often that we get to climb up in a tree and, and have a hunt like that. I mean, we had deer running absolutely everywhere. And you could just feel it in the air. It was just one of those days, overcast. Um, sun was just peeping in and out. Hard north wind, 40, 40 degrees. And, I mean, it just had these deer just fired up. But... I mean, this is what this is what you do it for right here to just have that type of encounter. Um, I haven't had that in a while. I mean, it's probably been four or five years since I shot a buck that close. Um, to me, that's close anyway. Usually, I'm taking those 30, 40 yard shots, but I mean, just for him to come in and do it like that, and to have a buck of this caliber and this maturity. I mean, that's why you bow hunt. I mean, that's exactly why you do it right here. Huh? During gun season too. We we have our we look like a couple pumpkins standing up there in that tree, but heck, we made it work out. God, he, I mean look at these main beams are nice too. Look at the mass carried in the insides here. That's right. That's why you do it. Alright. Let's get the party started now. Drag his big old butt out of here and get him in the truck. Yeah? All right. Oh. oh my lord. Oh. He's kicked our butt. Finally got him out. Took a minute. Too many cold beers. Might just close it out right here. If so, I mean, just what an awesome hunt. It's what bow hunting's all about. You know, just getting to get up there with your brother and, and shoot an absolute bruiser. So, um, 
November 15th, got duck season coming up. I mean, season's just now getting started for us, really. About to be traveling all around the state, um, getting to hang out with your buddies, do some hunting, and uh, it's gonna be a good old time. We're looking forward to it, so thank you all for watching. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll see you again from the deer stand, but we don't know. Right.